This video demonstrates a predictable and reliable method for managing an evolved central incisor using a composite and wire splint. On the screen, you can see a number of different materials and instruments that you may well use to undertake this procedure. Here we have a patient presenting with an evolved permanent central incisor. Careful history taking is crucial for treatment planning. More information can be found about this from the International Association of Dental Traumatology Guidelines. Ideally, the patient would have replanted the tooth at the time of the evolution. In this case, however, we are going to assume that the tooth has incomplete apical closure, was stored in cow's milk, and has a total extraalveolar time of 30 minutes. Check the socket to ensure that there are no bone fractures evident. Additionally, check to ensure that the socket is clean and free of debris such as gravel. Once we have determined the socket to be ready for re-implantation of the tooth, it is essential to administer local anesthetic. Topical should first be applied, followed by labial and palatal local anesthetic infiltrations. Gauze should be placed to protect the airway and to minimize risk of aspiration. Care must be taken to only hold the crown of the tooth, avoiding touching the root surface. This will minimize potential damage to any vital periodontal ligament fibers still present on the root surface. The root surface should be inspected for debris. If there is any debris present on the root surface, this should be rinsed gently with sterile saline. We are now ready to replant the tooth. Orientate the tooth correctly and apply firm, sustained apical pressure. You will encounter resistance when replanting the tooth. The amount of resistance will determine the pressure required. Continue to apply pressure until the tooth is in the pre-traumatic injury position. Determining this can be challenging in mixed dentition cases or those with malocclusion. Pre-injury recent photographs may help in aiding this, as will discussions with the patient or parent or carer as appropriate. Once happy, we can review arch alignment the tooth will then need to be stabilized with a passive flexible splint. Pressure will again be required to ensure that the tooth maintains the optimum position when affixing it to the splint.